Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today we're going to go over slice and attach in Cricut Design Space. All right, let me get some shapes on here so that I can show you really what it is we're doing. I've pulled in one circle, come to the shapes, I'm going to pull in another circle, and maybe even a square, just so that we can really see what all we're doing here. Okay, let me change colors on some things so we're not getting confused. Okay, so to use slice, what this does is it literally slices one thing out of another. If I kind of put this circle here on the square and I select them both and I hit slice, it's going to cut it all apart. So it sliced the circle out of the square. I now have that and this but it has left me the parts that were sliced out. So I still have both parts of my circle, both parts of my square. If I want to do anything with these extra pieces that were sliced out, I still have them available. And that's the big difference between slice and subtract. A lot of people think they do the same thing, but they really don't. Let me show you. I'm gonna just control Z and back out of all of this that I have done. Okay. So if I take my circle and my square again, select them both, and I come over here to subtract, it's going to do the same thing, except for I only get the final thing. It subtracted the top layer from the bottom layer and only left me with what was on the bottom. I don't get all those other pieces. But again, if I come to slice, I'm going to get all these extra pieces. So this is something that is good for, you know, if you're wanting to make, uh, I'll just use this circle as an example, and I will grab a snowflake from my images. Uh, this one's fine, I'm gonna add it to the canvas. That is a big snowflake. Okay, let's say I want to slice this snowflake out, but I want to keep the snowflake. I don't want to lose it. In fact, I want several of them. So I'm going to duplicate and duplicate. I'm just clicking, um, I'm right clicking to duplicate. Or I could also come over here and use the duplicate. Okay, so let's say I want to slice all of these snowflakes out of my circle and I don't want to lose the snowflakes I want to keep them as well something about slice though I cannot slice more than two things at a time if I drag my box around this and I try to slice it's gonna tell me uh, no sorry you can't do that that's because I have more than two objects selected what I would have to do in this case is make these snowflakes one big object so I'm going to click my first one hold shift and select all of the rest of them until they are all highlighted. I can't get it right here. It's not really letting me because it's so close. So I'm going to come over here while I'm still holding shift, click it. And now they are all selected and I'm just going to weld them all together to make them one unit. Okay. So now I have these snowflakes. Let's name that snowflakes. I'm going to right click rename snowflakes. And I have the circle. Drag my box around both, and now I can slice. I hit my slice. I still have all my snowflakes. I have the snowflakes that got sliced out, and I have my circle with the snowflakes cut out of it. These I have welded together. There is no way to unweld them. That was a final decision that I had made. I actually don't need this, so I'm just going to delete it because I can use these for whatever I wanted my snowflakes for. Okay, so let's talk about attach and what that does. Let me pull in some more shapes. And we'll get the square back. 
Okay, let's do the same colors we had before. Pink, blue, and kind of an aqua seafoam color. Okay, so what does attach do? Earlier, to make the slice feature work, we had to weld those snowflakes. Why couldn't we just attach them? What, what is really the difference here? Because if I put this circle here and this circle here, and I select it all and I attach it, I mean, it's all one thing now, right? It's all together. Attach really is just a placeholder. When you hit attach, you still have separate objects. You can see over here in my layers, I still have a square and two circles. I'm going to duplicate this. I hit control D to duplicate. If I weld all this together, I no longer have a square and two circles. I have this welded completed with no other lines or cuts in it. Um, layer. So attach is a placeholder. It will attach everything together and hold it for you in the order that you want it in. And that is really helpful when you're placing things on your mat. So let me kind of show you what I mean there. I'm going to detach these, pull them out and make them separate again. And um, let's see. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with my squares. Okay, so I have a row of circles and I have a row of squares. And let's say for some specific reason, I really need all of these circles to cut out in this exact order. And I need the squares to cut out in this exact order. I don't want them to be jumbled. If I just hit make it right now, Look what happened to my screen. It optimized it to use as little material as possible, but I don't want them optimized. I want all my circles on top of all my squares. This is an instance where I would select everything and attach, and now if I hit make it, all of my circles are on top of all of my squares, and I have all of that dead space in the middle that I told it I wanted. For whatever reason, I might need that. Using attach though, if I want to come back and redesign something, say um, I want this to be perfectly even. I want this square to line up with the left of that circle. I want this square to line up with the right of that circle. Well, all I have to do is detach it, select these two objects, and align their right sides. Select these two objects, and align their left sides. And how I'm doing that, I'm holding, I'm clicking the first one, holding shift and clicking the second one to get them both selected. And now I can come back and I can attach them again and I can hit make it and they're perfectly lined up. If I had welded all of this together instead of attaching, let me detach it and let me come in and weld it. That's it, I'm done. I cannot, I, I cannot Unweld, I can't slice, I can't do anything. A weld is a final choice. All right, let's look at it all one more time. Let's go over to slice. Let's get our circles in here. Duplicate. Again, turn one pink and one blue. And I'm going to make this one smaller. And I'm going to slice it out of the middle of this one. Now I went behind it. I can bring it back up to the front if I just arrange and bring to front. Okay, drag my box to get them both selected. Slice. And I now have all of these circles. Okay, now let's do attach. I'm going to put them where I want them to be. I want those two circles to be together and this one to kind of be by itself. So I'm just going to attach these two. And I hit make it and I'm going to get two separate mats because I have two different colors. But my blue ones are right where I wanted them to be and my pink one is up there on its own mat. Okay, so there we have it. That is how we use slice and how we use attach in Cricut Design Space.